Hi everyone, I'm Cindy Walter and I'm so excited to share with you one of my dear friends and one of my top leaders in my whole organization, Sarah Farnsworth. And I'm going to have her share a little bit about her story and really the difference that Isogenics has made in her life. So Sarah, welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So let's, let's just go back and share with everyone you know, pre-isogenics, where was your life at? What were you doing? Um, so I was a hairdresser and I have three children. Let's see, right now they are 17, 13, and 11. So that was three years ago that, well, no, I started isogenics in 2015. So now we're at five years ago. So they were a little bit younger. They were starting to get really busy with sports and I was working full-time in the salon, you know, 10 and 12 hour days every single Saturday and it was starting to be a little painful um, and I was I was always looking for a way to work less I should say and that wasn't your only responsibility though weren't you also at that time helping your husband in his business as well yes my husband owns his own business doing commercial glass and glazing so I am his um, I guess sidekick. I do all of the um, payroll, receivables, payables. You know, we are a small company. Um, he owns it partly with his brother. So we only have about five employees. So it puts a lot of pressure on all of us. So yes, I was helping him on my days off <laughs> and just trying to keep it all together. So yes, that's what I was doing. Plus, I also love fitness. I was working out usually twice a day, every day. I would cross it in the mornings. I would run in the evenings or vice versa. Um, just because that's what takes, takes away the stress. <laughs> that's great. And I know, I know your story. Um, you were not looking for a business opportunity at that time. You were just trying to keep all these plates in the air with all the things you were juggling. And so just share with everyone how, how you were introduced to Isogenics and then we'll talk about the shift. Okay. So one of my clients brought me products all the time that she actually didn't want because she just knew that I would love them. And they were um, easy. Like it was easy for me to grab a bar or drink a shake while I was at work. And I couldn't get rid of a few stubborn sticky pounds. Um, right at the beginning of 2015, we went through a stressful time with our daughter. She had developed seizure disorder. So she was in and out of the hospital. So a lot of times those those little snacks she gave me saved my life because I didn't have to leave the room. I could eat a bar instead or um, have a shake and I didn't have to leave her. And I finally said yes to a nine day system because I wanted to lose that 10 pounds. I've cleansed in the past. So I thought I will do this nine days, lose my 10 pounds and then go back to my normal clean eating because I'm also a meal prepper. So I would meal prep on the evenings and weekends to stay ahead of all that because um, I believe in whole foods. I believe in eating clean. So that was a huge priority for me. However, it's a lot of work. Mm -hmm. So after, um, after I started Isogenics though, and did the actual system where I did the shake days and the cleanse days, I literally felt amazing. And I thought to myself, if I can feel this good after five days and I'm ch just changing my eating, then how, why do I feel so much better using this as opposed to eating clean foods, you know, because the nutrients isn't always there as much as we try to be as clean as possible. And I thought, okay, I'm never giving this up. However, it was a little bit of a pain point because I thought, how am I going to spend $300 a month on myself at that time? You know, how do I justify that? And lo and behold, um, it was a few months later, I think I started in July and you called me in like the end of September because I was sharing with people who were noticing my results that sat in my chair. So I also helped coach a lot of people with, you know, weight loss. They always asked me, what can I do? How do I do it? When I would share with them, okay, you're going to start working out. You're going to clean eat and meal prep. You know, here's what, here's, you're going to make five pounds of chicken on Sunday. They were like, time out. We're not doing that. That's too much work. So when I started this program, I thought it's so easy. Anybody can do it, even if they don't know how to be healthy. So I started enrolling people, just giving them accounts like I had except they all went down one side. Luckily you found me <laughs> um, to share with me um, what it looked like to eat for free. Yep, and I'll never forget that. I had you over for coffee. We sat in my office and I shared with you, you know, how you could get your products paid for. And then the magic happened. And you know, one, I think opening up, you had no idea 
that this was a legitimate business opportunity that could change your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, you simply wanted to lose a few sticky pounds. And then it turned into a legitimate business and share with everyone what happened after you figured that out. And I showed you what you needed to do and kind of gave you the, the guidelines to run on. What, what happened next? Uh, well, kind of once you showed me all I needed to do, I became a manager very quickly. I want to say by the end of 2015, I was a manager. Um, so that little bit of money coming in was like eye opening. It was like, oh my gosh, I can totally buy my food each month. Then my husband wanted to do the products too. And it just snowballed from there. Um, you know, our normal January NYKO happened and they did a crystal reset and I just jumped in like full force and started enrolling people and having them learn to get their products paid for. And I believe I was executive by March. So I earned a lot of money in the pools and all of the bonuses for the rank advancements. And it really just was a huge game changer. That first year in Isogenics, I out earned my full-time income um, doing hair when I'd been doing hair for 10 years. I was never going to be able to make the kind of money that I'm making now sitting behind the chair. I couldn't work more hours. I couldn't charge enough money where living or working where I worked in a small town. Um, so it was like just always going to be that rat race of, you know, hamster wheel. Yes. Working for someone else. Mm -hmm. So, someone um, else. so then share, um, that beautiful day when, uh, you no longer had to do that. Mm -hmm. So I kept talking about it, I think, for that whole year. I should just quit. I should just quit. I should just quit. Um, but that fear of, you know, that uh, just the change and leaving my job and the stability and, you know, yes, uh, I had a hard time with it. Plus, I love my clients. So it wasn't like I hated what I did. It was just a matter of trading time for money and leaving my babies because that was very painful. Um, with every baby I had, I wanted to stay home and my husband would shove me back out the door and I was a C-section. So I would have babies. And then in four weeks, he'd be like, go back to work now. <laughs> so I would be back on my feet pretty quick because if you don't go to work, you don't make money. I didn't have paid, um, maternity leaves or anything like that. Um, so in 2017, I went to NYKO and it was like the light bulb went off. It was like, okay, it's time. And I think January of 2017, I just said, I've had enough, I'm gonna stay home. And that started my ISA journey as far as full-time income. Um, 2017 was a great year too. I think that was the year that I hit six-figure income earner. In one so, year, first time in yeah. your life? Yes, first time ever. <laughs> and, and share with everyone, you know, that is so huge to, to earn six figures in network marketing. And not everyone can do that. You know, we don't make claims that, you know, this is for everyone. You, ha you had to work awful hard to be able to do that. But what, what did it allow you? What did that extra income allow you to do for your family? Um, a number of things. I'm gonna try not to cry. Um, I was always having to cut corners and save money wherever I could, you know, uh, being a, a business owner doesn't mean that you make a ton of money. So my husband took a very low salary and put all the money back in the company for a very long time. Um, we lived in a very small house. Uh, as far as like my kids playing sports, I would always have to use hand-me-downs from other, other parents that were nice enough to give me what their kids had grown out of. So um, I was able to, for the first time ever, buy my son brand new cleats. Um, and, and even it's still changing and still evolving. My story has changed so much and I always forget to add this, but um, this year we actually bought a farm, moved into my dream farm that I've been looking at for years. <laughs> I've been able to buy horses for my children that they've asked for since they were little. Um, it's just, it's amazing <laughs> the change and, and I'm home. I'm home every day with my kids and now I'm coaching cheer. <laughs> <laughs> because my, uh, there, there just wasn't anyone else and I was able to say yes to that and normally I would have had to say no I and said a lot had, of no's had you not taken this seriously and taken advantage of this amazing business opportunity you know where would you be right now you probably wouldn't be able to cheer you know mm -hmm. help your daughter who's a senior salvage mm -hmm. her senior year, year 
um, but so much more. Oh, I just love your story. It makes me cry still to this day. Well, what would you say to someone looking at Isogenics network marketing as a, as a business? What would you say to the person checking this out? You know, has it changed your life enough that you recommend it to, to everyone? What, what would you say? Absolutely. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't say that it's not work, but when you love what you do, you don't work a day in your life. Mm -hmm. And I get to help people feel better. Like I did that when I was doing hair, my job was to make people look pretty, but sometimes I can't change the outside enough. And I'm helping people internally, not just with weight loss, but you know, emotionally, physically, financially, I'm, I was able to change people's lives on so many levels that there is no greater gift than that. Yeah. So I don't feel like it's work. I don't feel like it's a job. I feel like what I get to do every day is just help people get to the best self they can. So that is, that's what's amazing. Um, as far as Isogenics goes, um, wow, they just pay us beyond what you could ever imagine. Like the income potential is definitely there. If you do what, you know, what we teach to do, you can make any amount of money you want, <laughs> truly. If you're willing to work hard and, and hustle and you know, you're a gift because you know, you've just been incredibly coachable and your heart to help other people and serve other people is why you're so successful in this industry. And I just can't wait to see what's next for you and your family and your team. It's just beautiful. So thank you for sharing your heartfelt story with us today. Thank you for having me. I can't wait either. Ready for more. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Well, take care, everyone. Thanks for tuning in.